subscribe our channel press the bell icon for latest videos hi friends here in this video we are going to see the concept of columns that is buckling or crippling of columns so let's get started Now, here there is a column, I am assuming it to be a circular column that is the cross section is circular having diameter capital D and the length of the column is capital L. Now this column is subjected to an axial load as we can see from the figure and because of this axial load there are possibilities that if the length of the column is short then under the action of this axial load the column may get compressed so there there would be only compression if the length of the column is short but if the length of the column is more and more means here in this case the condition is if the length of the column is greater than 20 times the diameter of the column or we can say if it is not a circular column in that we take the least lateral dimension like for example if it is a rectangular column I will just show a rough example here. That if it is a rectangular column having width B and depth D then out of B and D, D is the least lateral dimension. So in that case, it would be 20 times of this small D, which would be compared with the length of the uh, column. And if it is the length is greater than 20 times that least lateral dimension, then it would be called as a long column. Now the case which I have taken in which there is a circular column, it is going to have only one diameter, which is constant. So the length is greater than 20 times the diameter then it would be treated as a long column and long column fails or it buckles or we can say it is going to get crippled and that crippling is shown in this way. This is called as the buckling or crippling column. It may be from at any given side, either towards the right or towards the left. So buckling or crippling may be said as whenever the load is acting and the load is actual on the column, the column is long. In that case, when the load is applied over that column, it is going to get buckled or move into the lateral direction. Like here it is moving in this lateral direction. So such condition like buckling or crippling is never desired in case of a column because whenever a column buckles or cripples it means it has failed. So we should ensure that the load which is kept onto the column should not lead to the condition which is like this like it is buckling or crippling which is also said as the bending of the column it should not happen and we need to avoid this condition. So in order to reach up to this stage that is we have to actual 
actually find the value of load which should be kept over the column so that it does not buckle or cripple and that calculation can be made by two theories or two formula one is called as the Euler's formula other is called as the Rankine's formula by using these formula we can get the value of load which should be kept on the column and once we know the value of load under which the column is going to buckle or cripple we can reduce that load value by dividing it with a factor of safety and such kind of load would be called as the safe load so here I'll mention safe load that is p suffix safe is the buckling load or we can say crippling load divided by factor of safety and this buckling load it may be Euler's load which is p suffix e divided by factor of safety Euler's load this has to be used for long columns because Euler theory is preferred for long columns the formula has been derived by taking the length of the column more than 20 times the diameter and it can be written in this form as well that is Rankine's P suffix R crippling load upon FOS this is used for short as well as medium length of columns so here we have seen that when a load is kept the load is actual the column moves in a lateral direction it can move either towards right or it can move towards the left anyway the lateral movement is not desired because the load which would be kept onto the column would be unstable and such a condition leads to the failing of the column so we need to avoid this and to avoid this we find the safe load which should be kept over the column which would be avoiding this buckling or crippling condition so that was regarding the buckling of columns at the end if you'll find my videos helpful you can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends thanks for watching